What's up everybody? Welcome to Chasing Hard Tips. We had a fantastic night at Wentworth Park last night. We got Beaumont Bell home at $7.90. We've got a couple of $11 Rob Cornellas. We had a couple of big placings. We had a couple of big wins. We had some great fun all night. We had a few dogs that jumped and run and went all the way. We had some dogs that come out slow, stormed home and give us a shout. But right now we're going to move on to um, Nowra for this afternoon. We've got race one, a 365 metre maiden. I've gone from box four at $3.80, pristine ethics. My next number was box five, marble zombie. And I thought the big danger in the race for me was a six. What have you done, Chief? I'm for exactly the same, Prestine Ethics, Marble Zombie. I thought Prestine Ethics in his um, last start, he jumped really well, but just didn't want to go to the front. But this is a pretty easy race, so if he can come out well again, and now all the Ethics dogs, they all got a huge motor, so it's going to be up to it. And um, number five, Marble Zombie, come out well last start, but caused a lot of trouble and found a lot of trouble. He, I mean, he was caused by himself, but he's got absolutely huge motors, run 20 and 82, run the second there. So that's easily enough to win this race. So they're my two numbers, Prestine Ethics and Marble Zombie. Okay, now we move on to race uh, race two, and it's the first start of Maiden at now, and we know we don't bet in first start of Maiden, so we're going to move on to race three. It's a 365 metre Maiden. There's a, uh, is a Maiden race, Chief? Uh, no, it's not. It's not a Maiden race, it's a 365 fifth grade. We've got a bacon box in the five. I got from box six, Missy Barrett, $9.50, and then the other number was box one, Red Fire Bay at $9.50. What did you do, Chief? I'm for the two, Twist Top and the eight, Little Janey. I thought this is probably Twist Top's race, really. Like, he's dropping in class. His last few stars don't look that flash, but the man over 520 dub now, he's just not a 500 meter dog. His first one about three weeks ago, he went really well leading and got tired. But um, the next two, he was definitely fat. He's had 10 days off, so I thought this could be Twist Top's race. And the other one was Little Janey, the eight. And I'm um, sure it came out well, but she's probably not quite up the level of the two, but I think she's one of the leaders in the race. And this, with this race as well, the three, uh, Bobby Dynamite, he's had 31 starts total, and they're all been over the 365 Nara, and the Red Red Fire Bay has had 41 starts, have been all been over 365 Nara as well. So there are a couple of interesting facts for the race. Okay, now we move on to Nara Race 5, 365 metres again. I've gone with Box 2, Rocking Jewel at $2.60. My other number was Maybe Tomorrow at $8.50. I thought the danger in the race was number four, Wishful Fantasy. What did you do, Chief? I'm exactly the same, Rocking Jewel. And maybe tomorrow. Rock and Jewel is a wonderful park winner. He's definitely the class dog in a race, but he's probably past his best now. But he can get out well and finish as well. So, in an easy race like this, the pathways, he should be right in, in it. Um, and maybe tomorrow. His form looks pretty ordinary, but the box eight is a big advantage. Every time he draws the outside, he might always win, but he always runs faces. So, he's up to it. And I thought the sixth, Kenny Achura, if he'd had Drew the inside, I think it'd be a good thing, but just, just hates the outside, but it's got a big motor on it. Okay, now we move on to now race five. It's another 365 metre race. We've got another vacant box in the five. I've gone with box three, Brother's Gift. He's $3.20. And I thought my other number would be uh, Fire Fairy. It's off box eight. It's $3.50. I thought the danger in the race for me were going to be boxes six and one. What have you done, Chief? Oh, it's exactly the same. Brother's Gift and Fire Fairy and the six is uh, still freckled with danger. I thought six is probably the leader in the race. But Brother's Gift's going to be sitting right behind him. Exactly the same as last week. We're running down again, I think. Okay, now we move on to race six, 520 metre race. We're getting into all the serious races now. The now of Puppy Classic Heat, heat number one. I've gone with Box Street, $3.10, Cartel Model. And I thought the next one I was going to go was Shanghai Susie. She's $7.50. I thought the big two dangers to these in my race were number two, uh, Nordic Shiraz. And I thought the other one was a seven, um, Glide On By. What have you done, Chief? I'm for the one Rockstar Apollo and a three Cartel Model. I thought this is Rockstar Apollo's race. I thought he's a class above theirs, really. His, um, his last couple of stars didn't look that well, but they're in East Street Heats and just some top grade race. They even took him to Melbourne a few months ago for the Australian Cup and the maturity. So he's definitely a class dog, but it's just a matter if he's trained off now. He's, he can run 29, 50 odds at Wenny. He's just, the last couple have just been a tad down on his best. And Cartel Model's been on fire lately. She's just a few questions about her wanting to win. So that's the biggest question of her, but they're the two main ones for me. If you're a form student at this race and you really want to learn how to punt, really go back and watch the last runs of the three, the four, and the two in this race. They got big checks and they were big runs to come home. They really did catch me on this race. It's going to be a tight one, man. There's some really, really good dogs in this race. Like I said, if you're a student of the game, go back and check out the runs of the three, the four, and the two in the last one. Now we're going to move on to race seven, 520 metres. We've got a scratching in the eight. There's going to be a vacant box in the eight now. I've gone for box two at $1.55, one hot bandit. I thought the other one in the 
the race for me was Chance Model. Outclassed, put him away. Great win. It was my top rater for the race as well. It's at $5. I thought the big dangers to him in the race were the four, the five, and the six. What have you done, Chief? I've been exactly the same, Brent. One whole bandit and Chance Model. I thought one whole bandit had two starts with two wins and um, the big Easter egg maiden. Uh, last week at Wayne, he ran 29.65 in his heat, 29.68 in the final. It's just looking good. It's very well bred. Uh, just moving from the eight to the insides, the only question is he handled the inside being pressured. And uh, Chance Model is a very fast dog. Got a couple of convic convictions against his name early on in his career, but uh, his last few runs at Wayne have been exceptional. So he's definitely got a big chance in this as well. Just looking through my notes here, this really is going to be a cracker. Like for one hot band, I've got out fast, race wide, home strong, big talent. Chance models out fast, put them away, great win. So this is going to be a hot one, man. These two are really going to have a drag race in the four, the five, and the six. They're not out of it. They're going to be chasing them hard. Now we move on to race eight. It's the third heat of the Puppy Classic. We've got a vacant box in the three. I've gone for box four at $1.45, coin model. The other one was number six, the Western Australian dog, Custard Manelli. He was gone all through the Golden Age three heats lately. And I thought the big dangers in the race to my two were the one and the seven. What have you done, Chief? I feel exactly the same, coin model and custom Manelli. Coin model, his last start actually took a couple of tenths off the Richmond track record. Ran absolutely fire. Yeah, I mean, he's another one with a conviction against his name. He got done for a fight in the Wentworth Park a few runs back, but his runs since then have been exceptional. And custom Manelli ran third in the East Street last week. He's just been on fire lately. There's a big question about him winning. He's been placing there. He's just not quite pulling the trigger against the better dog. So he's dropping in class, just see how he handles after traveling a bit. I'm not sure if the trainer's here with him or he's um, got a caretaker trainer, but he's definitely a class dog. Okay, now we move on to the last heat of the Puppy Classic. We're bacon box in the five, 520 meter race. I've gone with box six, Tommy Cater, the dollar seventy. I thought the next number was going to be box four, Tuari Rocky, three dollars eighty. And then I thought the danger in the race was going to be springy bust for me. Man, check out this race. Like the seven in this race really, really caught me eye on the replay. But the only problem is, will he go past? He's going to charge home. He's going to be doing some really great things in the race. And hold your breath watching him go past. What have you done, Chief? I went for number six, Tommy Cade, and uh, the four, Terror Rocky. Tommy Cade's been absolutely fire lately. Just he won the new sensation of winning last week. He's been coming out fed and just charging through him. But he races wide. It's his first look at now, and that can sort of bring dogs unstuck, the first look, especially with a wide runner like him. But he's been on fire. The box is a little concerned. All his forms when he's drawn close to the fence. And the other uh, number, Terra Rocky, is a good dog, got plenty of speed, gets out in front, but not quite a strong 500 dog, so that could be a question mark for him. And I thought the danger was uh, checks Rockstar Rampy. His last run at now was very ordinary, but before that, his form was excellent. So if he brings his best form, or he might be trained off, there's a lot of questions about him, but uh, the six is definitely dog to beat. Okay, now we move on to now race 10, 365 metres. It's the last race of the night. We should have pockets full of gold by now, but just in case you need some extra money, I've gone for box two, Winsome Alicia. She's at $4.60. I went with box eight, paying the price. The danger's in the race, I thought, with a three and a seven. What have you done, Chief? I went for the eight as well, paying the price. And I went for the uh, three, Luke Hall Miger. I thought he's run at Richmond last start. It wasn't too bad. So it's a fairly easy race, but the eight's definitely the order to be. Only two starts were winning a uh, second it was. And he just looked exceptional when he's winning. He's just, I think he could be a class above these, really. Well, that's all from us now. That was the last race. We'll see you after the last from now, and we'll see you tomorrow night for all the big races at Maitland.